All right, students, we are, um, I'm just gonna go through a few of these activities with you um, ahead of time. So that way, if you're absent, et cetera, you can um, get that feedback if you need it. Um, I am starting down here at activity A on our inheritance gizmo down where we have the experiment. All right, so I have food supply, two bushes, um, two identical parents with thick body, screen skin, curly antenna, and triangle tattoos. And it says, make two offspring and record their traits. So my fur, I'm gonna reproduce two, okay. There is offspring number one, reproduce. Offspring number two, okay. So I have two offspring, they're both thin. green, curly, and none. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that because it's the same. They're both. They're, they both have the same traits. Okay, so um, their, uh, their parents had thick bodies and they are thin. So why is that? Um, this is the food supply. Okay, so the traits not passed down were body type. And also you can see they do not have tattoos. They did pass down their body color or skin color and antenna shape. Okay. So acquired traits are traits that you acquire in your lifetime. Okay, so these babies were born and there wasn't a lot of food. Okay, so um, the next one you can do is if we increase the food supply and then they have another baby, this baby when it grows up to be an adult will have a, um, a larger body size, okay? Um, if a human child has a mother with dyed pink hair and a father was missing a finger who lost it in an accident, would that child inherit those traits? No, because they are acquired. And they are acquired traits. And that is the end of activity A.